So it's been a year now since Colorado first started specialized missing persons alerts for indigenous people. It came about because of the history of those cases being ignored. Our Jaleesa Arizari looks at why the advocates who got these alerts created still feel like they're struggling. The calendar may say 2024, but Raven Payment. I'm trying not to use profanity. And Monica Snowbird. Oh yeah, for sure. Are still dealing with 2023's problems. Arduous comes to mind. It's been quite a, a haul. The two are members of the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Relatives Task Force of Colorado, a group that pushed for the Missing Indigenous Person Alert, or MIPA. It was activated at the end of 2022. And about a year later, it's working. Sort of. Sometimes you're just like you feel like you're beating your head against a wall because you know that this kind of work is never going to end. While there is criteria to implement a MIPA, even if it's met. Yeah, absolutely. These two say law enforcement sometimes isn't activating it. We thought the MIPA would be mandated and it turned out that this is an optional investigative tool that law enforcement can use at their discretion. And so we're trying to work out all the bugs now so that we can get this to be a mandated alert across the state. CBI says they're looking to make changes that make the alert system easier to use. In its first year, MIPAs are one of the state's top three most used alerts. The Bureau says it issued 47 since its rollout. Payment says that number is outdated. It's not current. Um, so there are 50 um, as there was an alert that went out last night. If we were getting the alert to be more streamlined, I am confident that that statistic would be much more dire and realistic. Realistic is how Payment and Snowbird want to paint the past few months. They say many of those alerts wouldn't have been issued if it weren't for them urging law enforcement agencies to activate it something they hope changes this new year. It's obviously needed. It's obviously effective. The group is giving CBI and its partnering law enforcement agencies a few months to get the alert system much more streamlined. They're hopeful the agencies will get it done, but if they don't, they would consider pushing legislation to get the system mandated. The good news is when the alert does go out, Snowbird says they usually find the person within a week. Well, that's encouraging to hear, and it certainly feels like, Jaleesa, like we're talking about it more than we were a year ago. We definitely are, and they said that is a silver lining in all of this. Media coverage has definitely gone up, and some cases that may not necessarily have gotten media coverage years before have done so. All right, Jaleesa Arizari, thank you very much.